Move-in day can be stressful, but here at UW Stevens Point, we try to make the process as easy and as smooth as possible. On move-in day, there will be many volunteers in colored shirts, called Pointer Pals, and they'll be there to help you move in and answer any questions you have. But here's what you should do. First, you should pull up to your respective hall with your vehicle. A Pointer Pal with a bright colored vest will greet you. They'll give you some information and tell you how long you're able to park in front of your hall. Then what you'll probably want to do is check out a blue cart at the front desk of your hall. And take it from me, a blue cart will help you out a lot when unloading your things. You can check out up to two carts. You'll need your student ID or driver's license. Okay, so you've unloaded. Good job! But before you can move into your room, you need to check in at the front desk. That's when you'll get your safe lock, that will let you into the building, and your key that will open your mailbox and your room. While you're getting checked in at the front desk, a parent or guardian, or whoever you came with to help you move in, should follow the instructions by the pointer pal and the vest to take your vehicle to a long-term parking lot, which will probably be lot Q or lot E. If you're moving in by yourself, you can ask a pointer pal to watch your things while you park, which we highly recommend you do. It's the best way to ensure that none of your things are tampered with. After check-in, you can head to your room and start setting it up. Please note that if you're living in a renovated hall, you can use the elevator to bring up blue carts and other belongings. But if you'll be living in an unrenovated hall, you'll have to wheel your carts up to the stairs and carry all your things up. Which is not as bad as it sounds. If you don't think you can carry up all your things, don't worry, we'll be there to help you carry large items, like futons and mini fridges, and anything else. But remember, the organization of your room is up to you. So have fun with it. Later that day, you'll also have a floor meeting where you'll meet your RA and other floor residents. You'll also learn important information about your hall. So be sure to make it. And that's about it. If you have any questions, you can ask a pointer pal or call Residential Living at 715-346-3511 or send an email to housing at uwsp.edu. Thanks, Pointers. I'll see you in the halls.